Okay. I'm going to be explaining this little add-on. Add-on, add-on, um, it's called Total RP2. Most people call it TRP2. But, um, this is for a friend of mine who wants to download it. And, this is just like a quick overview of it. And this is like the main tab. You can put your first name. You can give yourself a surname, which is a last name. Uh, title. Be sure not to be too long with that. Um, it explains most of it. There's your full title. Um, age, birthplace, race basic stuff like that. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, it's like scars, weird markings, stuff like that. Um, eye color and piercings or changes. And then your figure. And your figure. So, yeah. That's the basic stuff. Um, you put your character's background here. Personality in here. It explains all the uh, little things right here. Um, background, background story. My paladin's background story is a bit long because I've been working on her for a while. Not the actual character, of course, but the best. Um, state. This is basically. There's a bunch of categories. It's stuff like what you smell like, how you behave, your mood, um, your appearance. <coughs> yeah. But um, that's pretty basic too. There's currently character icon is when you mouse over someone, you see over there. What else? It's what they look like. What's a picture in place of the default picture? If it's let me give you the default picture. That's the default picture. Okay, we'll do that. You could type in keywords. Um, I'll fix that later. <laughs> But, um, that's your RP study, status, uh, in character, out of character, roleplay training. I never really mark that, because I'm not new to roleplaying, and I don't want to teach people either. Because, Dialects, um, which is basically, you know, like, languages. Um, quests, this is pretty interesting. There's only one available for each section, and you can make your own, but I haven't figured that out yet. There's the directory. You could search someone in there. You can filter it by relationship or trust level. Um, creation. You can create an item. Most of the stuff can be accessed down here. Like, you can have an NPC talk. You can write something down. Uh, I haven't really figured the like the that out yet. And then the dialect, of course. The uh, show and hide helm and cloak. You can click right there instead of going in the interface to do it. Uh, you can switch out of character and in character. Um, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm explaining something. You can go back in the living room now. Um, you could go. This is hmm, go AFK right away, right there. Um, yeah, it's pretty shiny compared to some other roleplay add-ons. Um, but anyways, back to creations. Let's see the item creations. Um, 
It's basic stuff right there. Mm -hmm. um. Log in here. You can click the item name. A uh, unique, which is the maximum number of units that the character can possess at a given time. Zero stands for infinite number of units. Lifespan, which is how long it'll last. Because you know, sometimes during a holiday, some stuff will just go poof when the holiday's over. This is the weight, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um. It's how heavy it is, and depending on I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet exactly. Yes, this is the value in copper coins, which means how much you can change the quality. Yes, my collection there. Um what the icon is, how much you can stack it. Most basic ball players should know. Most of this. Um, this depends on whether you have to stand still while using it, like casting time, um, if it's a quest item or not, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, usable, right block, maybe added, maybe traded. See, this is basic stuff. It's basically like you're creating something. Sorry if my typing's loud. Um, the microphone type on the keyboard. State creation. I like this one. I'll make one now. For your. Uh, but, um. Name. Okay. Default duration. Zero basically means whenever you don't want any more, you can right click and it'll be gone. Um, type. E buff or a buff. Okay. This is just an example. So, icon. Go for. Why not? <laughs> Category. Which would be under. Behavior. Yeah. Save it. And then you can go into your sheet states. And then it should be there. So explaining something. T V was too loud. <laughs> um Settings. Language. What is, let's not change it to Dutch. <laughs> Oops. I just accidentally reloaded that. Let's go back. <laughs> um, again, settings. The size of the help font. I haven't really messed with this too much. Close in combat. Which I wouldn't recommend because if you're sitting somewhere and something attacks you, it'll close it and you're stuck on Um, button settings. There's a button up here. You can rotate it with this. Um, position. The interface. 
to say about chat function, language functions, I haven't really messed with this too much. It doesn't cause a problem. Um, chat functions. Directory, notify of additions, which I'm going to do. Uh, add automatically, or use I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, sound options. I haven't figured out the sound yet either. Trust level and security. Okay, this is glitch, glitch. There we go. Um, Default trust level for characters added to the directory. Trust level for seeing your story. I would keep this everything as it is. Um, like this is the trust level to see your background, to like hear the sounds you put. I don't know what that is. This I would keep. But, um, this is the handbook. It can help you if I didn't help you enough, which I probably didn't. Um, and I think I'm done. But, um, but that's my, uh, description. Keep it short. My background, I tried to keep short, but it didn't work. But, um, yeah, have fun, good luck, hope I helped you. If not, if you have any questions, I guess you can ask me. Why not? <laughs> okay, bye.